Your social security benefits are in danger, but the good news is that something may be coming very soon that could save them. Welcome back everyone. So it's no secret that the social security program is in peril and the clock is ticking for lawmakers to make changes. Otherwise, the program will not be able to pay benefits as promised. The social security board of trustees estimates that the funds could be depleted in 2034 or even before then, at which point 78 percent of benefits will be payable the remainder will not be so time is running out for congress to pass legislation that would ensure that you continue to receive your payments so we're going to be discussing this solution what we could be on the verge of and will this legislation pass what are the prospects of it we'll be discussing it all in today's video and what it means for you so let's get started and dive right into the news but before we do as always make sure you folks do a couple things for me number one give this video a tremendous thumbs up smash a like button i'd appreciate that if you have been enjoying the content and if this video gets to 500 likes we will do a cash giveaway where we give away a hundred dollars to a few of you lucky subscribers if that doesn't happen, no worries, because we'll be doing another cash giveaway when we hit 20,000 subscribers, which could be in a week or two at the pace that we're going. Make sure you are subscribed and have notifications turned on. Those notifications will actually let you know when we post a brand new video. We post videos here every single week with no exceptions and no excuses. And so you'll have to be subscribed to be entered in the giveaway. With that being said, let's get started and get right down to it. So first of all, it's also no secret that taxing the wealthy has been a popular topic in Washington these days, especially with the current administration. President Joe Biden recently proposed in his annual 2023 budget a so-called billionaire minimum income tax that would increase levies on the country's wealthiest households, and we discussed this in one of our most recent videos. Under the plan, people with a net worth of $100 million million dollars or more would face a 20% tax on their full-time income, including unrealized appreciation. This is a big one. But another proposal that has been kicking around Capitol Hill that would raise taxes on individuals making $400,000 a year and more went unmentioned in President Biden's budget, and this would be the solution to solve Social Security's problems. See, Social Security is funded through payroll taxes, and in the year of 2022, that means wage is up to $147,000. Both the employer and the employee contribute 6.2% of wages up to that threshold, which is adjusted on a yearly basis. So a recent congressional proposal would seek to apply that tax on wages of $400,000 and more, which would effectively shore up the program. The reason the future of your benefits are in turmoil is because leaders face a decision, a choice of in order to shore up the system, they could either raise taxes on the wealthy and corporations, or they can cut your benefits or a combination of both. They may also raise the retirement age again. So it comes as no surprise that applying that payroll tax to individuals with incomes above the wage base is a popular idea with the public. The idea is so popular that a campaign slogan was even created for the proposal called, quote, scrap the cap, of course, referring to the cap on wages before you no longer have to pay into the system. This is because once a worker crosses that threshold of paying social security taxes on their first $147,000 in annual earnings, their paychecks are no longer subject to those levies. So as a result, workers who are above the earnings threshold may only pay social security taxes for a part of the year only. Many Americans don't even know that there is a maximum of how much you can earn before that tax goes away. And so a lot of individuals, especially those who are collecting benefits, once they find out, they believe that individuals that make a lot of money should be paying into the system all year round 365. And of course, a Medicare tax of 1.45% also applies to wages. So combined with Social Security, this represents a 7.65% tax paid by both employees and employers and is also known as FICA, which stands for the Federal Insurance Contributions Act. Most notably, though, there is no wage cap for the Medicare tax. This is because Congress did away with it starting in 1994. So today, lawmakers could make the decision to make those same changes to the Social Security program, and they could also increase the amount from 6.2% 
to a higher figure. But of course, that would also mean making a larger contribution out of your paycheck. So I'm curious if you'd be willing to, or at least were willing to make that sacrifice. Definitely let us know down below in the comment section because I would imagine most Americans would be extremely upset learning that their paychecks are gonna start decreasing in size. So far, congressional Democrats have proposed reapplying that social security payroll tax on wages of $400,000. Earnings up to $147,000 though would still be taxed. Then there would be a donut hole or a gap where the taxes were no longer applied until wages reached $400,000 and the tax was assessed again. That might sound a bit strange, so there are other ways that lawmakers could apply the social security tax to more wages. This includes simply applying the payroll tax to all wages above $147,000. So regardless of whether you make $147 or $1,047,000, you would still be paying that tax. Additionally, they could create a surtax for higher earners and then reducing the benefits that they end up receiving. I'm sure this would face a tremendous amount of controversy because they could be paying more but then end up receiving less. So how is that fair? Well, Democrats just say you're wealthy, you make a lot of money, you got to pay into it and that is our decision. Another idea is that lawmakers could choose to apply the Social Security payroll tax to programs that were non-existent when Congress last addressed this issue, such as transit subsidies or flexible spending accounts. And it's no secret that since the cap was first set, wages at the top have grown dramatically faster. Social Security payroll taxes initially covered about 90% of wages. To cover that level of wages, the cap would need to be around $270,000, according to a 2016 estimate. There's a tremendous wage gap in this country, huge wealth inequality, and so implementing any of these changes could potentially close that portion of the financing gap substantially. But the fact is, is that Congress needs to act right now because the longer they wait, the more expensive those changes will become. The longer Congress waits to act, the less likely that raising the taxable wage base will be enough to solve Social Security's problems. At one point in time, not too long ago, eliminating that cap would have been enough. It would have been sufficient to remove the deficit. That is not the case no longer. Based on estimates, according to experts, now if all wages were to be taxed, it would still only cover 60 to 70 percent of the shortfall, not 100 percent. We absolutely cannot delay these reforms. Action must be taken right now. The cost to have tax revenue on current workers meet the need indefinitely will go up and so we cannot wait any longer. There's a looming question of intergenerational equity. It simply would not be fair to ask the next generation to take care of their parents. That's exactly what happens when you increase the current payroll tax to fund current retirees. It simply is not fair. Many would not have it, including both employers and employees. If the payroll tax is moved higher than 6.2%, that would mean less take-home pay for workers. And especially during these times right now, that would be an absolute disaster. If you cut paychecks right now, that would lead to unmitigated rampant homelessness across the country. People would fall into poverty faster than you could even blink. I'm curious what your thoughts are. What would your solution be to solve this problem? I truly don't think you would call for increasing the payroll tax. That is something that the vast majority of Americans would not agree with, but certainly on higher earners and higher wage workers, that could be a solution. Definitely let us know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Hopefully some changes are made soon. Granted, most lawmakers, especially Democrats, are focused on the midterms right now, which are right around the corner after the summer, and everyone is in full swing, full campaign mode right now, so I don't see any changes being made before the end of the year, and that could spell out more problems. More news and developments will follow suit. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got a value out of it. If you did, share it with a friend, spread it on social media, get the word out, and make sure you give this video a tremendous thumbs up, smash the like button. If you want to see more content from the channel, make sure that you are subscribed, click that big red button, and have notifications turned on, ring that bell. If you want to get some free stocks, all me all free. Use the links down below in the description of this video. Sign up with the brokerage platforms, Robinhood and or Webull. You'll get some free stocks, some of them valued up to thousands of dollars in some cases, so let us know what stocks you get. And if you want to click me on social media across all platforms, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook. Use the links down below in the description, and I look forward to connecting with you there. And I'll also look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care for now.